I'm going to do this real short. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this real short. Um, and because of the in-season tournament game with the Clippers in Houston, I didn't really get it was a weekend. You know, I'm still getting my consistency. You already know. But we here, though. Um, I really like what I, I, I saw from Houston. I've been liking what I've seen from Houston. Um, every game, games that they lose aren't even blowouts. It's close games. That's one. Two. I like the culture, the culture that like I'm watching versus the Clippers. I'm seeing, you know, Adoka. Adoka is a real. Let's talk about Adoka for a second. Adoka is, Ime Adoka is someone who really has a real fight type of mentality based off his certain situation. He's the one who put Boston on the map, like to that next echelon, right? Because again, he has a, he's very more similar to me where it's not emotions involved. It's about what take did you have available, what you could have did, what you're supposed to do. Look at your mistake you did. Excellence. No mistake. Canceling everything. Limiting your mistake. Obviously, you're always going to make mistakes. It's hoop. But when you're so cerebral with it and so in tune to the film and getting better and getting better and locked in and locked in, you basically put yourself in a scenario where you make the least amount of mistakes. Your mistakes happen and it's very limited, like MJ Kobe type, like. They're rarely going to make mistakes. And if they make a mistake, they're going to make up for it. Because now that mistake was calibrated. I'm not going to make mis- that mistake again. Or if I make it again, oh, that's what you're doing? Okay, I'm going to learn from my mistake. So it's not about the mistakes. It's about do you learn from it? How quick does it take you to learn from it and adjust? Oh, that's what y'all doing? Okay. Y'all double ga- y'all gapping. Y'all shrinking the floor off the corner? Okay. I'm going to make you pay. Oh, you gapping and recovering? You got that steal at the corner? Okay. I'm going to just pump fake, fake pass and I'm going to pull. I'm going to adjust. Like, that's what I be talking about, right? That's how, you, if you know the game, that's why when I speak, when True talks, you listen. Because it's not about me. It's not about any man. It's about the game first and everything else second. Just read it and react. And if your eyes see what you see, then you see what you see and you tell it. That's what I'm about. You can tell that's what Adoka's about. Why? Because he hooped. He played. And, what, and not only that, it's context of who you, the people with that type of mind and that type of excellence mind or normally point guards. That's why the point guards a lot of the times are the best coaches. Keep it a buck. And then another tier of that is role players. Role players are normally having a way better coach in mind. Like guys like Grant Williams, Pat Beverly. These guys who are role players, they are role players. So they, like superstars, there's, there's very few superstars that have that kind of like elite adjust mind. That's why they're superstars. But some superstars or all-stars or whatever are just talented. They don't even understand like when they have to repeat what they just did sometimes they can't they just they just they just read and react and just in real time like it's just like a feeling it's just like you see how some people go daring headlights and they just some guys are daring headlights in a good way like they're just that's why they say that guy's just raw talent like a bones highland just raw talent just like you know what i mean like raw talent just read and read just natural raw talent but now when you got to think the game it's a different thing so a lot of the times the role players only exist in the nba based off thinking the game not off the raw talent. So they are ready. And not only that, they make up for the superstar mistakes. They make up for that Westbrook just gambling, running around, reaching and doing whatever. There's a guy there that makes up for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is another, this is another level of hoop that I'm talking about. An advanced level hoop that I'm talking about. Advanced level hoop isn't the terminology. The advanced level hoop is what you're actually talking about. What do you see? What are you pointing out? That's advanced level hoop. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm talking about right now. Obviously, terminology is part of it. but Forget that. I don't even be knowing some of the terminology because it's like I only learn the terminology when I play. If I don't, I just do it. I just talk about it in a nigga way, like just so people can understand. You don't have to break down. Oh my God, the flare did it. In. You don't have to do all of that, right? So when you look at it from this from this perspective, and because I'm not hooping every day, if I hoop, my terminology would change if I was literally in the league hooping every day, because that's the that's what y'all talk to. But when you're not, I, I can't talk that way. Men's are gonna understand, so I just don't even. You know what I mean? I even be forgetting some terms. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part. Like, advanced hoop is, like, what I'm talking about. It's, like, the role players see those things. They make up for those things. The back line of the defense, communicating, screen left, screen right, waiting to drop, you good, get back, rotate, push that forward. That guy, Steph Curry, switches on to a big. Draymond comes out the fucking corner, go back, go to my corner. Now that switch was canceled, I'll be back in a good position. Little things like that on every play that be happening. That's why role players have a great mind. That's why Draymond has a great mind, right? You... Role players, that's why they're a lot of the times going to be great coaches. Steve Kerr, right? Stuff like that. Either point guards 
or role players and stuff like that, you're going to see them be, they have a mind. They have another, especially defensive-minded guys, defensive-minded role players like Emeka or Meodoka, stuff like that, guarding Kobe, like literally going through the war. So when you guard Kobe and let's say you shut him down for a one-two play, you had to play, you have to, you have to, you're mentally guarding each other. It's not even about physical anymore because that guy don't see you. Read his move. He's going to jab step. Even when he jab step, I'm going to fake like a move, but then recover. But now when I recover, off the jab step, let's say he jab step and it works and I recover. He's going to use my recovery. He's going to counter my recovery because he's seen me. Just move back. So now that I come back, he's going to counter my recovery with a spin. I now am coming back, but I know I see his body. So I'm going to counter his spin. I'm going to cut off that spin. He's going to see me and he's going to fake half spin and then go back. River, and I'm going to be late, but then I'm going to cut back off and close out, body up. And then now, you know, it's dog. It's the mind. This all happens in one Five second, three second play. This will be happening. So when you see Adoko, Adoka is locked in like that, and I seen him have great defense in his in his in his day, time playing. Especially look at the teams he be playing on. You playing on Spurs? Like, come on, fam. Assistant with Spurs. Come on, fam. Who we talk? What we talking about? So that type of guy, like, made made Tatum be more excellent. All those made him play real defense and tap into a defensive capability that he has never tapped into because he didn't have to. He didn't even care about that shit. Man's always care about defense. Just like, as long as my, my, my guy don't score. But there's another level of like, I'm going to be a, men, a defensive menace. I want first team. He challenges man's on that. Excellence. It used to be only Marcus Smart trying. Like, dog, what are y'all? But now he challenged Jalen Brown excellence. All y'all be excellent. So now he in, implement, implemented that culture. Those guys were never the same after him. When you tap into someone's mental game, that's the best way to make them better, not passing the ball and hoping you make it. That's on paper to the fans. Y'all think that made him because he hit him open. Tapping into a, making someone better is really behind the scenes. You talk to him. He understands the game from your lens. He understands the game from your perspective. He's working at it. He's not making mistakes. Oh, damn, I did that. That's my fault, did it? Now to the point, you don't even have to scold them and say, yo, what are you doing? Man's like, no, that's my fault, did it? So now when you do what are you doing, you even stop yourself because you're like, or they don't even look at you. Yo, dog, what the fuck are you? And they just put their head down because they're already going on to the next one because they already know that they made a mistake before you said it. Before, where some, before then, it used to be like, they used to not even know they made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to look at the body language. You got to look at these things on the court and see it in real time. So when you look at it from that perspective, man, like, that's why Odoka changed the culture for the Celtics. That's why when he now, especially now after a scandal, to come back and then do the same shit you're doing in Houston this early already in 12 games. They only they lost the last couple, but it's been close. But y'all were literally like, that's why when I said when they're getting Van Vliet and they paid him for the bag, y'all think this championship pedigree, Van Vliet already on that type of time, and I seen him increase his game. Because he really looks at the film, no emotion, I got to get better. An undrafted guy only can think from that lens because you don't have the luxury to have a green light wherever you go. You're, you're forced to be like, I got to make it. I got to force. I got to make them see that I'm nice. So I got to be locked into a whole new level. I got to not make no mistakes so I can even be on the court. Van Vliet has a level of defense. Van Vliet don't even get double teams when a man's on him, as pinch as he is. Because while you're about to rise up, I'm going to reach cookie you. Pat Bev, same ways. Like, guys like that, like, you ought to appreciate that. Jaylen, now Jalen Green's going to get better. You have you bringing guys like Jeff Green, Dylan Brooks on that type of timing. Yes, his antics are whatever, but he's locked in always. Defense, well, come on now. What are we talking about? You still got Shangoon. You got guys. This is not just about the roster, too. It's about the culture. Then you look at their coaching staff. You got, like, Raw Ivy. You know what I mean? You got, uh, um, who else did I see there? I seen someone else. I said, damn, I forgot it. You got Tiago Splitter. Like, you got actual, like, you know what I mean? Like, guys who, when they played, too, they were literally, like, they didn't make that much mistakes in intangibles. So, now, Adoka, when he's not even seeing something, because he can't focus on it, he's worried about the rotation, worried about this, or talking to another guy, the coaching staff is talking to the team about that play that he don't have to worry about. That's This is real hoop combo I'm talking about, fam. Like, that's why the, the staff matters. All these things matter, right? You know what I'm saying? They all play a role. So when you look at that, like I could see the culture change in Houston drastically. Drastically. Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, um, Jabari Smith, right? When you look at them, it's not even like he, 
Adoka also not even playing Whit, uh, um, Whitmore, and he's not playing uh, um, certain guys. Like, it's not even about how do I explain this? They have a culture that they're establishing there that is like, dog, you put in the work, you make let not, you don't make that many mistakes, then you play. You earn it in practice, then you play. It's that type of like, we don't care about names over here. You're not getting shots because you Jalen Green. You're getting shots because Jalen Green, that was a great play. The game dictated for you to pull that. The game dictated for you to, you know what I mean? Drive. You kick it like, man, you're really just hooping. Really hooping. But on a level of like that in-season tournament, I saw a level of fight, a level of try, a level of like, of like, dog, you have to kill us. Every time they lose, you better kill us. Because they're still young, so they're going to make mistakes. But like, they're literally trying, even in the mistake. I'm seeing Shangun literally run out of bounds, throw it to the point it hits the backboard. Now Jabbar, now Jalen Green gets it. Now he draw a foul. Like the offensive rebounds they shouldn't even get. It's literally fight, like a level of fight and try that is instilled in them. They have to have it first, but like it's instilled in them. The motivation factor that like, like when Adoka speaks, it hits their soul that they literally have one way to respond. Adoka's my type of guy. That's why when I, when I go places, I could just be in the gym, fam. I don't even need to play. You had to pull up, yo. Shoot that shit. Nigga, hear me. Oh, what? You know what I'm talking about? That's a pull-up right there. You even had a double. You even had a spin. What are you doing, yo? Pull that. My fault. Right there, I'm hitting your soul. Right? You don't even need to know me from a can of paint. You look at me like, who's this nigga? What? If it's another man, the way he says something to you, be like, who's this nigga? Who you talking to, yo? I make niggas better. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do, fam. You don't look. Your soul is affected. You have one or two options. Either be a waste man and be frail. Oh, who is he? da 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 or you could be like, yo, what? Do you, oh, he's speaking facts. I did, yo, I did waste an opportunity. That's my fault. I got you. But what do you do, floater? Yo, force him left. What's he, dog? He has no left hand. For, no, go, what are we doing, yo? Go under the screen. He can't shoot. What's wrong with you? When you talk like you hit man, so the, like, one way to respond. And if you're really nice and you really hoop and you really are locked in and you're really an alpha or you're really just him, you're going to only work one way. There's only one way you could go. And that's how Odoka be speaking to me. I don't even need to be around, yo. I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> I could tell, fam. So I really like what Houston is really going to. Houston is going to shock people. People are talking about OKC. OKC, you, they nice. Don't get it twisted. Like, But there's a couple young teams. Indiana's one of them. Houston is one of them. Like, you're looking at the NBA right now, and you're seeing, like, God damn. Like, some of these young teams aren't. They're young don't matter no more. If you have the right culture around them and the right locked-in type of coach and, like, Jazz as well, too. Like, yes, they're losing games, but it's not real losing games. It's like you're not even mad about the losses. You know what I'm saying? Like the trying, the fight, the the reading, reacting, you know, forcing men to the weak. Like they're really hooping. Like the NBA, I'm seeing 30 good teams now play. Where back then it used to be like maybe 15 and the other, like, you know, 20, blah, blah, blah. not even 20. It's a good day here. You know what I mean? It's getting back to that. Especially now when you add skill too, like I really like what I'm seeing. So this 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 NBA has been a great start to the season. I really love what I'm seeing from Houston. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. That play that in season tournament game was that playing game, playing game in season tournament game was definitely like I saw a lot from Houston. You know, I saw a lot. I saw a real lot. Um, again, like I I just I love what I'm seeing. I love when a guy could go places and just infect, infect, infect. Adoka's a real one, yo. He's a real hooper, for real. A real hoop mind, for real. You know what I mean? So you love it. So, bruh, let's go on to the next one. Bro.